Hello friends, welcome to technical experience. I have come up with a new video on overcurrent and at fault relays. The basic relay that is used in a substation for the protection of electrical equipments. These relays are generally used for the protection of electrical elements like transmission line, transformers, reactors, generators as backup protection in EHV substations. But in distribution substations, these are the only protection used for protection of the feeders. These relays are available in all types that is electromechanical, static relays and numerical relays also. Overcurrent and at fault relays are generally used in groups. For any transmission line, we will see there are always three overcurrent relays for three phases and one at fault relay connected in the neutral of the city secondary circuit. But in many cases, we will observe that there are only two overcurrent relays and one at fault relay are used in combination for the protection of any feeder. So, how three overcurrent relay with one at fault relay is solving the purpose and also two overcurrent relay and one at fault relay in combination also used for the same purpose that we'll see in the animation. We have considered here transmission line that is protected by overcurrent and at fault relay in combination. So here we have put two overcurrent relays in R phase and B phase and at fault relay in the star neutral of the city secondary. So here we will see how two overcurrent and at fault relay in combination protects the transmission line fully from any kind of fault. In normal condition when there will be normal currents flowing through the transmission line there will be normal currents also flowing through the city secondary and that will be in balanced condition that is the combination of R, Y and V phase will be almost zero so there will be no current flowing through the art fault relay so the transmission line will work properly now if there is overloading in the transmission line there will be overcurrents through the transmission line and that will be reflected in the city secondary also so there will be overcurrents flowing through the city secondary in r y and b phase as overloading are considered three phase phenomena similar thing will happen in case of three phase line faults also in such case as there will be overcurrent flowing through the the overcurrent relays will be more than their plug setting they will actuate and trip the circuit and isolate the circuit from fault but as the combination of the art faults in r y and b phase in star will be almost zero so there will be almost nil current flowing through the art fault relay and that will not be able to actuate the art fault relay so in such cases only the overcurrent relay will trip and isolate the circuit from service but when there will be overcurrent due to phase to phase faults then what will happen let us see because of phase to phase fault there will be overcurrent in two phases that is r and y phase though here it is shown the direction of the current are same in R and Y phase but in actual direction of the current in R phase and Y phase will be opposite to each other. The overcurrent in R phase and Y phase will be compensated by each other and because of that there will be no extra current flowing through the earth fault relay. So in this case also earth fault relay will not actuate but overcurrent relay on R phase will be able to isolate the circuit from service so there is no need of an extra relay in y phase similarly in case of fault between y and b phase also the overcurrent relay on b phase will be able to isolate the circuit and there will be no need of any overcurrent relay in y phase with such combination what is not possible is if there is an overcurrent in y phase we will not be able to understand whether there was overcurrent in y phase or not now we'll see what happens in case of phase two art fault. In normal condition, the any of the relay that is overcurrent or art fault relay will not operate as there will be balanced currents flowing through the phases. But if there is a fault occurs between B phase to art, there will be overcurrent in B phase. Because of that overcurrent in B phase, the combination of R, Y and B phase will not be zero. So there will be current flowing through the neutral that is art fault relay and that will make the art fault relay to 
trip. As the trip setting of earth fault relays are kept very low, so before operating of the overcurrent, the earth fault relay will trip. Further, there are conditions when there is a fault in phase to earth fault. Due to resistive earth fault, the current through the phase will not be too much high, that is, it will not be higher than the clock setting of the relay, and that will not be able to actuate the overcurrent relay. But because of the earth fault, the current flowing through the C phase will be higher than the other two phases and that will create an imbalance and because of that imbalance there will be flow of current through the neutral that is earth fault relay and that will actuate the earth fault relay and trip the circuit. Hence two over current and one earth fault relay combination is enough to protect a transmission line or any element from any kind of fault.